Thai tacos and what like black. What is that, black, like mayonnaise and tuna? What are you doing? Pretty much ground beef and cheese. That's and, okay. Do yeah. you put any flavor in it? Uh, no. Oh. Um, here's the deal. <laughs> no, they said to be careful and let her know this, that black pepper is the top of the spice level in Minnesota, you know? I'm the first vice president, I believe, who has ever grown chili peppers. Well, trying to that. expand we'll my, uh, my food knowledge. You know, we've got some cantaloupes. You'll be fine. Yeah. So... I, called I was hoping you, Tim. maybe we wouldn't have to. I called you, Tim. <laughs> yes. You didn't answer, Tim. I know. I know. The, uh, what happened? The most important call of my life. It popped up, and we didn't recognize the uh, the caller ID, and it went to uh, it went to voicemail. Hi, this is Jim. I'm not able to answer. There you go. Thank <laughs> you. Hey, Tim. It's Kamala. I really want to talk to you. <laughs> It is an amazing privilege for me also. Uh, I'm excited. I just want to be part of the excitement that you're generating. Well, so we're doing it together, buddy. We're doing it together. How have these last couple of days been for you? I can see where the, the energy comes. America is a hopeful country. Indeed. People are excited. In every one of those groups of thousands, sometimes over 10,000 people, you've seen exactly who we are as America. Yeah. People from rural areas, urban areas, of every stripe and size and background. This is who we are as America, and we're yeah. all in it together. Yeah. And in this campaign, the only way we win is to keep the pedal to the metal for these next many, many days that we have. So, Tim, yeah. what's your relationship to music? Yeah. <laughs> for me, the transformational piece of music was Bruce Springsteen's The River, okay. which is a journey. You know, you know all the tracks. Yeah. And, and, and I'm that guy. My first car, it's the summer 1980, been uh -huh. saving up. I buy a 1973 orange Chevy Camaro. Got an eight track player in it. Oh, wow. Previous owner left Bob Seeger's Night Moves in there. I listen to it, and it's kind of the soundtrack of my life of, of uh, Detroit's own Bob Seeger. But what's really great about this is I have a 79 international is my car it's got an eight track player in it i have the very eight track to this day you're kidding no, me no but how about you i grew up you know so all these albums here i mean aretha my mother had every aretha album and like our christmas gift to my mother her birthday gift was always like what's the latest aretha franklin record so it's on on vinyl in your house like, as a all of it wow. all that and stevie and mm -hmm. Then Miles and my dad loved jazz, and so it was Miles, it was Coltrane, one of my personal favorite musicians for when I was younger was Prince. Oh. And of course, what? from your oh. from your estate. Yeah. And um, he, you know, in fact, I'll tell you, so my husband, Doug, and I, I'm more of a hip hop girl. Yeah. He's more of Depeche Mode. <laughs> oh, yeah. So Kam Kamala Harris and Tim Walls' conversation, uh, they were talking about the music, about the food, about the tacos, and Tim Walls like the white guy tacos, which is ground beef and cheese. And uh, so in the beginning, Kamala Harris was talking about Tim Walsh, Tim Waltz, Walls. I have to get used to that. Keep saying Tim Walls, Tim Waltz, and Tim Walls. So it's very unusual. I like that name. So Tim Walls uh, didn't answer Camus Harris' uh, phone call because he said uh, he didn't recognize the number. So uh, the most important phone call in his life, and he didn't answer. He knew there was the, uh, the he, he knew the call, but he didn't recognize it, so he didn't answer. And then Kamala Harris left a message, and then uh, he checked, and it was the vice president offering him uh, as the running mate to the future vice president. How cool is that? That's, that's pretty cool. I love it.